Yo guys, hands here. Let's talk about field monitors and why it can help you on your production. And yes, bagong gupit ako. Hmm. Okay, so I'm using a 7-inch monitor on my recent production. So, mas maganda to kaysa dun sa built-in screen monitor ng camera mo na 3-inch lang or sometimes meron mas, mas smaller dun. So, itong malaking 7-inch monitor na to is maganda to frame your shots. And actually, mas makikita mo kung talagang ako ko sila dun. Makikita mo na maybe visualize mo na, okay, tama itong framing na to. And for colors, guys, I don't worry about the colors kasi I usually shoot on flat a color profile dito sa kaya ng entry ko. So, I don't need to worry about that. I can just fix that in post. So, having the benefit of the 7-inch monitor is mas malaki siya. And also, pagka tinitignan mo yung subject mo is mas na-visualize mo kung anong gusto mong look instead of looking at the really small screen. And also, for the focus, mas na-ayos mo yung focus niya making sure that your subject is in focus. And also for playback guys, mas magandang gamitin tong 7-inch monitor kasi meron din siyang built-in speaker. So mas malakas yung speaker na to kaysa dun sa built-in speaker ng camera. And also kung gusto mo siyang i-playback on headphones, meron tong built-in 3.5mm headphone jack. So you can listen via headphones. Kasi some of the cameras or mid-range cameras, wala silang headphone jack so you cannot plug in a headphone. So how does the field monitor work? So, meron siyang cable na HDMI. So, all of the cameras now has HDMI output. So, kung meron HDMI output yung iyong camera, you can just plug it here. And yung display niya is magdi-display na dun sa 7-inch monitor instead of your 3-inch monitor or much smaller monitor built in on your camera. So, ang ganda nito guys is you can save battery kasi automatically na mag-shutdown yung iyong monitor sa iyong camera. Or on sun cameras, kailangan ko pa siyang i-switch off. But for my case, it just automatically turns off once I plug it. To power the monitor, you have two options. You can use the DC adapter, so meaning pwede mo siya i-plug sa wall socket. And you can use the DC power, so meaning as long as meron ang meral ko, you won't have to worry na mamamatay yung iyong field monitor. And option 2 naman guys is meron siyang battery slot so you can use the Sony NPF batteries. So marami siyang available sizes so I went to the larger one which is the 970 na mas malaki siya and it will give me much more longer power on my field monitor. But the downside guys since it is really heavy medyo mahirap siyang i-balance sa camera mo so you just have to be careful and everything is uh, dapat may fit kasi if, if not it will just fall out. So, yun lang yung uh, downside sa malaking battery. And also, if you're going to use this handheld like on my rig, wow, sobrang bigat niya in the entire rig. So, medyo kailangan mo siyang i-balance na mas maayos. But, the uh, good thing about that, guys, is mas matagal yung battery life niya. So, I don't need to worry. And also, I'll be, I'll be saving battery on my camera kasi nga hindi ginagamit yung aking built-in screen. That's why... I really like this field monitor. So there are a lot of different sizes for the NPF battery. So pwede ka mamili from smaller to larger, but that depends on different power na kailangan mo. So in your case, kung gusto mo na mas magaan, if you're just going to use it handheld, just get the medium, uh, medium size battery of the NPF Sony batteries and just get a pair of two. But if you want to have a solid battery, get the larger one, which I did, and you don't have to worry charging it all the time. Alright guys, so now I'm done with my video shoot, I can also use my field monitor as a secondary monitor for my laptop since it connects just via HDMI. So again, dito guys, I can use the field monitor as a playback monitor for uh, my editing on Adobe Premiere or I can just use it as an extra monitor so I have uh, a secondary monitor to work with. Alright guys, so I recommend this for filmmakers or YouTubers that are collecting gears. This is a must-have. So not only you can use it for your camera, you can use it on your laptop for post-editing. Alright guys, so this is not a sponsored video. I just have this field monitor here to help me out on my production. And I'm just sharing my experience with a 7-inch monitor as a field monitor for my camera and a field monitor or an extra monitor for my laptop. 
And again guys, my name is Hans Andres and for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.